So today we're going to start out by reading the chapter of desire. It is the starting point of all achievement. As you read, Frank, with okay. every single paragraph, I need you to understand every single paragraph 100%. Because if you miss something, then it makes it even more of a challenge to go back and try to explain it. So we're not in a rush. We're not in a rush to get through it. Okay. So let's start with number one. Understand every single paragraph. You may start. Okay. When Edwin's bar uh, barons climbed down from the freight train in Orange, New, New, New Jersey, more than 30 years ago, he may have resembled a tramp, but his thoughts were those akin. Okay, do you understand that paragraph? I have no idea who, who is Edwin. Yeah, there's some. Okay. Edwin some C. Guy. Barnes. Edwin C. Barnes is just a person such as yourself. Okay. He, yeah. he, at this point, is of no one of any real consequence. It's just a person's name. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, but when he was on the train in Orange, New Jersey, okay, 30 years ago, which was many years ago, he uh -huh. looked like someone that was very poor, which, yeah, okay. which means to resemble a tramp. He probably had on disheveled clothing, his uh -huh. hair was uncombed, but he had some great thoughts of what he wanted to be and what he wanted to do in life. His uh -huh. first thought, his first thought might very well have been, I'm coming from Orange, New Jersey, but I want to go to Taiwan, but I don't know any Chinese language. Uh -huh. Whatever the case is, he knew that he wanted to do something different. Uh -huh. And let's find out what did he do. Number two. Uh, what's, the, what's the meaning of the resemble a tramp? What's uh -huh. the meaning of that? Uh, resemble a tramp. A tramp is someone who is poor. They have oh, okay. double clothing. Their hair okay. probably isn't combed. They need a bath. Uh, and the word resemble means to look like. So he, oh, looked, okay, okay. he looked like someone that was poor. Uh -huh. okay. 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 Number two. As he met his way from the railroad track to Thomas Edison office, his mind was at work. He saw himself standing in Edison presence. He heard himself asking Mr. Addison for an opportunity to carry out the one consuming obsession of, the, of his life. A burning desire to become the business associate, with, associate of, of the great inventor. Okay. Do you understand paragraph two? Mm. Okay, he met his mind make his a uh, his mind uh, yeah he thought he will work with edison yeah the inventor king right okay yes. edison. so thomas edison is the person who invented the light bulb yes mm -hmm. and for this reason we could say that thomas edison is a great business person uh -huh. and okay. he's a great inventor that is what thomas edison is okay when someone is consumed with something, consumed, it's all that he thinks about. That's all I can think about. In your case, all you can think about is learning to speak English fluently. Every morning you get up, you think, I want to speak English very well. I got to do it. I must do this before I die. Mm -hmm. okay. Then when we talk about a burning desire, it's just like, you see my hand, if I put my hand on an open flame, uh -huh. my hand will be burned and it will be scarred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that scar would be a, a constant reminder. It would be uh -huh. a constant reminder that I put my hand someplace. Uh -huh. maybe, yeah. I, maybe I should not do it again. For you, Frank, you have a burning desire to learn English fluently. You have purchased several classes with me. Mm -hmm. And every time you go to your computer, you see that you have a class scheduled. Mm -hmm. It's a constant reminder. 
Yeah, it's a okay. obsession. It's a constant reminder. It's a burning desire. Okay. And this okay. is what the this is what the tramp had. The okay. tramp had a burning desire. This tramp mm -hmm. had this desire that I really want to do this. I want to learn how to sell things. I want to learn how to talk. I want to be fluent in English. Whatever mm -hmm. it is that you want to do in life, you must have a consuming desire. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number three. Uh, Baron's desire was not a hope. Was not a hope. It was not a wish. It was a keen, consuming desire. Pulsating. Which, pulsating. Uh, pulsating desire which tran transcend everything else. It was definitely, definitely. Definite. Uh, definite. Okay. So here we have Barnes. Remember Barnes is the person that is on the train. Yes. He's mm -hmm. the tramp. And he had this pulsating. You know how your heart goes boom, 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 boom. Your heart, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Your heart pulsates, it beeps. Pulse, uh, pulsating, okay. Pulse, pul pulsating, oh, okay. Pulsating, like beating, pulsating. the beating of your heart. Okay, yeah. If his, if his heart, if his heart was to stop beating, what would happen? Of course, man would die. <laughs> okay. Good, he would die. So this is how much he desired yeah. to work with someone famous. If yeah. he could not work with someone famous, he would may as, he may as well be dead. His desire was okay. pulsing. Everything he did, I want, I want, I want. Yeah, okay. And then this word transcended. It's almost like being out of body. If I mm -hmm. say to you, Frank, I have a ticket for you to come to New York and visit with me. You would be mm -hmm. like, oh my God, she sent me a ticket. Oh, you could not believe it but you would be so grateful. Okay. So transcending uh -huh. means going beyond what you could have thought. You could okay. not even imagine this wonderful thing happening, me sending you a flight ticket. Okay, unexpected, right. Mm -hmm. Now, but his, his desire to do something uh -huh. was so great that it had to come to truth. It had to be definite, it had to happen. Okay, okay. So when you schedule your classes with me online, in almost every case, I will definitely be here. It is okay. true. I will be definitely be here. Okay. okay. So now, Frank, let's just see how much we know and how much you have retained. Okay. We read one, two, and three. Tell me what you know about one, two, and three. It would sound something like this. There was a man who looked like a tramp but he went to New Jersey to meet Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison is a famous inventor. And this Barnes really wanted to meet him. He had this desire that could not contain itself because if he could not achieve his goal, he may as well be dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was chapter one, two, par paragraphs one, two, and three about? Okay. Uh... Mr. Barron was, was uh, is very is is very poor uh, is is very poor, but he he had he has a very strong desire to change his himself. Uh, so he try he he take he would take a train. Uh, he he was to took uh, taking a train to. New New Jersey New New Jersey New Jersey to meet with uh, Edison. Edison is a great inventor. He will, he will, he want to work with him. So to uh, to accomplish his dream. So that's uh, so he keep, keep uh, so he keep pushing himself to uh, to pers persuade to his. Uh, target in of his of his life mm -hmm. that's a whole this whole meaning of this uh, one to three paragraphs very good very good and as we go on 
what you know is going to transcend what you learned three minutes ago. Let's okay. number four. Uh, the, de the desire was not new when he approached Edison. It had been Brown's dominating desire for a long time. In the beginning, when the desire first appear, appeared in his mind, in, uh, in, it may have been, probably was, not a wish, but it was not mere wish when he appeared before Edison with it. Okay, and number four, remember when you started taking classes with me, you mm -hmm. probably have had classes with some other people. I don't know, but most likely you have talked to someone before meeting Priscilla. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you wanted to become fluent in English, just like this person, the tramp looking man, Mr. Barnes, mm -hmm. he knew he wanted to become good at something. Mm -hmm. So it was just a thought. Mm -hmm. Now, just like you have, he has taken action. Mm -hmm. Mr. Barnes has taken action. The action that you did was to schedule a paid class with me. You took action. Mm -hmm. Mr. Barnes took action by getting on the plane, on the train. Mm -hmm. He didn't buy him any clothes. He didn't buy any uh, jewelry. He just got on the train just like he was and said, I am going to see Mr. Edison. Today is the day. Okay. Just like you said, today is the day that I'm going to schedule classes with Priscilla. Mm -hmm. First, it was an idea. Then you took action. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that is what number four is about. Any questions about number four? No. No. Number five. Uh, a few years later, uh, Edwin uh, Browns again, again stood before Edison. In the same office when he first met, met the inventor, the time his desire had been trans translated into reality. He was in business with Edison, the, 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 the dominating, the, dominating. The dominating dream of his life had become a reality. Today, people who knew Barn remember him because of the break life he had him. They seem him in days of his Trump Trump uh, without taking the trouble to investigate the cause of his success. Okay, so here are a couple of words. Yielded means to give. Okay. Mm -hmm. And triumph. Triumph means like, yay, victory, I did it. Oh uh, yeah, triumph. Yeah, triumph. triumph. So here in paragraph five. Five years later, yeah. well, not five years later, but a few years later, a okay. few years later, Mr. Barnes is asking Mr. Edison something else. Uh -huh. You remember the first time he asked him, he said, I wanted to meet you. Yes. So he did meet him. Now, a few years later, Mr. Barnes is talking to Mr. Edison again, and he uh -huh. said that you really made my wish come true. Yes. You made my desire come true. Mm -hmm. His desire had been translated into reality. Reality is something that is true. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, before you met me, Frank, you only saw my name in the classroom or on the web page. What became a reality for you was to actually meet Dr. Priscilla. Like, yay, I get to yeah. speak with her. I get to talk with her. I get to learn with her. Yeah. Uh -huh. So now, because we know that this was a great dream of Mr. Barnes, his dream was to meet a famous inventor. So his dream of his life had come true. The pulsating in his heart, like, if I can't meet someone, I may as well die. But uh, now it has come true. Uh -huh. And what has come true is what m many people will call a lucky break. A lucky many people, break. Many people call this a lucky break. 
it just says break here, but we might call it a lucky break. Okay. What is known as a lucky break? This is when, this is when a desire comes to reality. Okay. Uh, and reality is something true. Okay. So he has his lucky break here. Uh -huh. Has his lucky break. Okay. And we, the word yielded, it means that the, it stopped. The uh -huh. world said, stop. Let's give Mr. Barnes what he wants. Okay. In your case, Frank, your lucky break is talking with me. Stop. Uh -huh. Let me give Frank his lucky break. He's paid okay. for the classes. And he's taken the classes. But here is where your lucky break comes, Frank. One of your lucky breaks is this. Not only do you have classes with Dr. Priscilla, your lucky break is that I record these breaks for you so that uh, you can review them again and again and again. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then that will be the end of paragraph five. Do you have questions about paragraph five? No. Yeah. Let's, let's very, very clear. Yeah. Let's go on to paragraph six. Brown succeeded because he chose a definite goal, uh, placed all his energy, all his willpower, all his effort, everything back, back up the goal. He did not become the partner of Edison the day he arrived. He was com he was content to stop in the most man man menial menial work, as long as it provided an opportunity to take even one step towards his cherish 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 goal. Very good. Now, here's what we have here. Remember, who is Barnes? Who is Barnes? Who is he? Uh, he uh, he's uh, right. You mean before before he's a poor kid. He was a poor kid. That's right. He's poor a young, poor young man. I am not quite sure. Very good. Well, let's just know that he he was poor. Yeah. Lawrence was someone that was poor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's find out what else we find. What else do we know? We know that Barnes Barnes was a poor person, but he succeeded. What does the word succeed mean? What does it mean to succeed? Uh, he was success. Yes. He, success. Yeah. he was successful. He was successful in meeting Mr. Edison because he had a definite goal. Yeah, definite goal. Yeah. What was his definite goal? Yeah, he had very clear target and uh, he had very strong desire in his, in, in his heart. So actually, well, well, finally well, what take was action. It? What was it? It was to, his definite goal was to meet. Oh, to meet, yeah, and to meet the great inventor, no, Edison, yeah. And Edison was the great inventor. Awesome. Yeah. So Edison is the great, and remember we talked about the pulsating, boom, 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 the pulsating of his heart? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Barnes placed all of his energy, mm -hmm. he placed all of his energy into working, with Mr. Edison. Uh -huh. He put all of his willpower into working with Edison. Yeah. Just like you're putting all of your energy into attending to the class with me. You're uh -huh. putting all your energy into reviewing the videos so that you uh -huh. can truly understand. Uh -huh. And everything that you're doing today, just like Mr. Barnes, is going to contribute to your reading, reaching your goal. Yeah, okay. Okay, so when he worked for Mr. Edison at the beginning, he had a menial job. He has a menial job. And the word yeah. menial means people boring, undesirable. Oh, uh, okay. And it's boring and undesirable. 
when you are learning to speak English, I will tell you things that you need to do. You need to record your voice. You need to listen to your voice. You need to read something. And you think, oh, this is so boring. It's boring. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But this is what must take place. You must do the things that are not desirable. You must do the things that are undesirable in order to achieve, in order to achieve your cherished goal. Cherished is something that you desire. Okay. In order for you to achieve your cherished goal, you must do the undesirable. If you want to reach, if you want to achieve your cherished goals, you must do the undesirable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'll give you an example. I have lots of students, and I tell them, record your voice, send it to me, and I will evaluate it. But I need you to write down what you are saying. Many of them do not do it, but they will send me the recording. If they are not willing to put in the time, which is the menial work, the boring work, I cannot make this magically happen for them to be able to speak. When I okay. give you something that I think that you would benefit from, I would recommend that you try it. In your case, I can record for you and send you the recording. So it isn't necessary for you to do so much writing, but I've had, I have asked you to write something like the dialogues and all of those things are good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any questions now about what we've read so far? No, so far so good. All right. Now I want to ask you, Frank, I want you to summarize everything in paragraph one, two, three, four, five, and six. You don't have to touch everything. And you should be able to tell me this in about 30 seconds. It will sound something like this. In 30 I, seconds, only 30 seconds. Okay. Yes. Okay, <laughs> listen, 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 I'm going to tell you what I want. You don't have to mention everything. Okay. That's the most important things. And I'll look at my clock and I'll talk for 30 seconds. And it will seem like a long, long time. At the count of three, I'm looking at the clock now. Okay. One, two, three. These, okay. par these paragraphs is about a man who got on a train to New Jersey. He wanted to meet an inventor, and he did. He met Thomas Edison. He worked for Thomas Edison, and he did menial work, but he did not complain. And so he decided he was really happy that he got a lucky break. That was 50 seconds. I mean, that was 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. So, but it's okay how much you can remember because we, when we finish this chapter, you will remember so much more. Okay. okay. Summarize chapter, paragraphs one through six. Begin when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, Mr. Brown uh, was very poor, but he has a very strong mind. He, uh, he has, he desired, he, 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 want to, he wanted to work with Edison and he, he dream come true because he take action. And at, at the beginning, he, he didn't mind to any undesired works. And he tried his best and uh, he has very strong desire. So it became, so his dream come true. Very and, good. That's yeah. it. That's your 30 seconds. That's awesome. Uh, okay. All right. So now we're going to go on to the next section. Frank, how is this lesson going for you? Is this a good lesson for you today? Yes, yeah, you try me to uh, speak the, by reading and try to think in some paragraphs, some materials, and uh, try to use, use uh, try to speak it, uh, uh, speak it, speak out by English, yeah. And if you practice what we are learning today, if you practice what we are learning today in your, mm -hmm you will find that you are going to be able to speak very well. Uh, okay, that was paragraph six. So now we'll start with uh, seven. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, let's start with seven. Uh, it is a remarkable illustra illustration of the power of a definite desire. Brown won his goal because he wanted to be a business associate with, of Mr. Edison. More than he wanted anything else, he created a plan by which to attain that purpose, but he burned all the bridge uh, behind him. Uh, okay. Keep, 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 keep going. Okay. No, tell me what words or what do you understand or not understand in number seven? What does what it mean of burned all bridge behind him? Very good. Burn all bridges is, is, a, um, is an idiom, okay? So Frank, when you started out to learn to, to speak English fluently, you didn't, many of my students just buy one class, mm -hmm. but you didn't buy one class. You bought several classes. Mm -hmm you know that you are committed that at least I will take this number of classes. I will take the 10 classes. If I don't like class one, I can cancel my classes and go with someone else. But so far you have consistently kept your classes, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's just say that this is class number seven. I'm not sure. But if you stop your classes today with me, and you choose to go with another tutor or teacher or consultant, it would mean that you most likely will start over again. But rather than burn all of the bridges, so you keep the bridges that we have established, class one, class two, class three, oh. class four, class five, because you can go back, you can go back over the bridge, you can go back what's in review. But if you burn the bridges, you can't go backwards because I will not be there for you. Okay. So you take away any opportunity to look back. You are always looking forward, looking forward. You're not looking behind you. So burn all the bridges means to destroy everything that has gotten you to this point. Okay. But you can go back if you want to. But because you have been so successful, you don't want to go back. You want to keep going forward. So that means burn all the bridges and keep going forward. So here he says that he did have, we know that he had the definite desire. Yes. That definite, that definite desire was a pulsating in his heart. Boom, 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 boom. I want to do this. I want to speak English well. I want to work with a, 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 an inventor. This is what is giving you life because you can see you reaching your goal. Mm -hmm. And he did become an associate of Mr. Edison. Yeah. Okay. And so he created his plan. His plan was really to work for free, maybe. He worked mm -hmm. for free with Mr. Edison. We did not read this paragraph, so let me read this paragraph. Five years passed before the chance he had been seeking made its appearance. So five years, Mr. Barnes was waiting five years to get to New Jersey. Mm -hmm. During all those years, not a ray of hope, not one promise of attainment of his desire had been held out to him. He didn't know how he was going to get to New Jersey. Mm -hmm. He had no idea, but yay, somehow he got a ticket and he got on yeah. that train and he went to Mr. Edison's office uh -huh. yeah. okay. to everyone except himself. He appeared to be another cog in the Edison's business wheel. Mm -hmm. When we talk about a cog, it just means something like, you see this time clock? Yeah. This is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Those represent minutes. Okay. So a mm -hmm. cog is just a representation of something. 
This represents 20 minutes. This mm -hmm. represents 30 minutes. This is a cog. It just mm -hmm. is something that represents something. Okay. Let's just say, Frank, that I have 100 students. Uh -huh. You're just another student, but your name is Frank. You are a cog in my students. You're just well, another student. Okay. okay. But in your case, Frank, you're not just a student. You are a dedicated student. You are a student that does everything that I ask. Mm -hmm. So you're not just another cog, but this is how people this is how people might view you as being a cog in the wheel. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So now let's read number nine, paragraph nine. When he went to or Oregon. Orange, not... orange, orange. Oh, oh, orange, okay. When he went to Orange, he did not say to himself, I will try to in induce Edison to give me a job of some sort, he said. I will see Edison, Edison and put him on notice that I have come to go into business with him. Okay. I just want you to know that orange. Okay. Is okay. So that's orange, what, New, that is New, what, that, New, that's what New, orange is. New Jersey, okay. 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 So when, when Mr. Barnes got on the train to go to Orange, New Jersey, he didn't say to himself, I will try to induce. Induce means to trick. Induce yeah. means to trick or persuade with some other. Induce equals trickery or not being quite honest. Yeah. Okay. So he didn't try to induce Edison to give him a job of some sort. He told him, I will see Edison. And I will put him on notice that I have come to go into business with him. So he told him exactly why he came to New Jersey. Why did he come to New Jersey, Frank? Why did Mr. Barnes go to New Jersey? Because he wanted to chase his dream. He wanted to improve himself. He worked hard, yeah. So he wanted to earn his honor. Yes. Uh, in front, in yes. Front of medicine. Yeah. Okay, number 10, paragraph 10. He did not say, I will walk there for a few months. And if I got no encouragement, I will could and get a job somewhere, somewhere else. He did say, I will start anywhere. I'll, I'll do anything Edison tells me to do. But before I'm through, I will be his as associate. Very good. So this is what Mr. Mr. Barnes said. He said, even if he didn't get any encouragement, if no one says, you're doing a great job, or you did fantastic with today's job, even if no one ever says that, Mr. Barnes said he will still work for him. And he yeah. said he would never tell him, I will go get another job. Like you won't say, Priscilla, I hate what you're doing. I'm going to go find another teacher. You stick with me. Then he tells Mr. Mr. Edison, I will start anywhere. Remember, we talked about those jobs that were menial. Remember what menial means? Undesirable. Yes, menial equals undesirable. Yes, boring. Yeah. And boring. So Mr. Mr. Barnes is saying, I will take even one of the jobs that is boring and menial i do not care what you do i will take any job i will i will start anywhere mm -hmm. i will yeah. do a menial undesirable job mm -hmm. but before i'm through but before i leave your company before i leave your company i will be his associate so okay. he's saying i have made my desire known and my heart is just beating. I got to do this. I'm going to do this. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can. And so he's going to become an associate. Let's okay. read paragraph 10. Uh, 10 or 11? I mean, 11. I'm sorry, 11. He did not say, I'll keep my eyes open for another opportunity. In case I feel I, 
in case I fail to get what I want in Edison organization, he said, there's, a, there's but one thing in the world that I'm determined to have. And that is business association with Thomas Edison. I will burn an old bridge behind me and stake my entire future on my ability to get what I want. Very good. So he says he will, he will burn all bridges behind him. Okay. Uh, again. Stake his entire future on his ability to get what he wants. He did not say, Mr. Barnes, Mr. Barnes didn't say, if I don't get what I want, I'm going to quit this job and look for another one. He didn't say that. Mm -hmm. He said that there's only one thing that I want. And what is that one thing that he wants, Frank? What is the one thing that he wants? What is the uh, one thing that he wants? He wants to prove his, for himself, he could, he could success in front of Edison. He will, he, he will do anything Edison tell him to do. He will be his associate. That's right. He'll do anything that Edison asks him to do because he wants to become his associate. And in order to become one of his associates, what does he say he will do? Oh, he will burn all bridges behind me, behind the Miss Brown. Yeah. Yeah, he'll he'll burn all bridges so he can't go back to. He cannot yeah. leave New Jersey until he become an associate. Okay. He's taking his future on it. He okay. knows that his future will depend on his success. So he will not look back. He will just yeah. keep moving forward, forward, yeah. forward, and forward. Okay, now we have read 11 paragraphs. Summarize for me in 30 seconds this entire 11 paragraphs. I'll tell you what it should sound like. There was a man, okay, well, on the count of three, 30 seconds, one, two, three. There was a man who boarded a train to go to New Jersey to meet Mr. Edison. Mr. Edison is an inventor, and this man that is on the train looks like a tramp, and he's poor, but he has a dream. He has a desire to succeed, and he will do everything. He will not look back, he will burn all of his bridges. And even if Mr. Edison never says, good job, he is going to work with him until he become his associates. Boom. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what I want to know is just how well you are learning. How much are you retaining of this? All right. When you're ready, 30 seconds. Okay, I'm ready. Mr. Brown uh, was poor, but he met his mind to... Uh, to go to uh, Addison place to, to be associated with him. So he met his mind. He will do anything Mr. Edison asked. So he, uh, he, will, he burned all his bridge behind, behind him. And finally, he, he, he want to improve himself, will be success in, in, uh, yeah, of his future. Okay, stop. Yeah. That was good. And the reason you didn't get more out is because you were hesitating and I think maybe translating, but that was very, very good. So okay. how was the lesson so far? The lesson? Yeah, good, good, good. Sounds good, yeah. Okay, so let's clear this one. And we're going to, so here's what your homework is going to be if you choose to do it. We probably will not get to um, this into a page, but the more we read, the faster it will be, the faster it will go. Uh -huh. So this is just a chapter. I want you to read this entire chapter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. Okay, so here we have another chapter here, Faith. But we're going to stay with chapter, this chapter here. We're going to stay with just um, desire. Mm -hmm. This is the next chapter. So I want you to go back to chapter one. 
You can read the first page that we read. There are 11 pages. Okay, 11 pages, okay. As you read the pages, I want you to write down words, ideas, thoughts that you want me to clarify for you in our next session. Mm -hmm. So maybe we might get through three pages because you will read, you will read several pages independent of me. Mm -hmm. And you, you'll tell me what page it is on. Let's see if I can get back. get back so there are, I'm going backwards now to where we were initially okay, so we finished this page this is the page that we have finished we did finish this page page one, uh -huh. page one. But, but it would be okay for you to read page one again with with the video so this yeah. is the starting point of all achievement no matter what it is that you want to do no matter what it is if it's to speak english fluently you must start at one point you must say i'm going to do this no matter what it doesn't matter how long it takes me but i'm going to do it mm -hmm. and that is what is called a burning desire yeah a burning desire that. to do that mm -hmm. then the next thing that we did we're going to do is start with the next page. You click on desired continued at the bottom. We'll read maybe one paragraph here and talk about this one. We'll read these two together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's start here. One. He left himself. He left himself to a possible wave of retreat. He had to win or per perish, perish. perish. Per perish. Mm -hmm. That's all there to, uh, is to the brown story of success. A long, a long while ago, a great warrior faced a situation which meant it's necessary for him to make a decision which ensured his success on the battlefield. He was about to send his armies against a powerful Powerful foe, whose men out, uh, uh, outnumbered outnumbered his own, he loaded his soldiers into boats, sailed to the enemy's country, unloaded soldiers and equipment, then gave the order to burn the ships that had carried them, addressing his his men his men before the first battle. He said. You see the boats going up in, in smoke. Then that means that we cannot have leave these shores alive unless we win, unless we win. We now have no choice, we win. So oh, we per perish, they won't. Okay, so I'm going to explain this to you. The word perish means to die. To die, yeah, okay. When you burn, if you're crossing a bridge mm -hmm. and you're trying to get across, if you're on the bridge here and you're trying to get over here, yeah. if you get to this point and you burn this bridge, mm. you can't go back. Yeah. So yeah. they burn their bridges, they burn their ships, mm -hmm. they burn the ships. So there's no way that they could cross the ocean to get back. So yeah. go into battle. Mm -hmm. If they don't win, if they do not defeat, the enemy, okay. they are still going to die. They're going to die because they can't get back. And this, uh, is what, this is what that great warrior said. We are going to win or we will die. Either way, the uh -huh. decision has been made. So when you're making the decision that you're going to learn English, no matter how much time you have to spend practicing English, you're going to do this. You're not going to listen to your friends and say, man, come on and let's go play golf or have a beer. No, I'm going to learn English. And it may mean, Frank, that you'll have to burn the bridges of that friendship. You may have to let some of your friends go because you have a goal. Okay? 
So that's mm -hmm. what this is about. All right, it is the end of our session for today. I, okay. I enjoyed reading this book. I mm -hmm. want to encourage you to read just this chapter. Okay. If you have questions along the way, which would be better, mm -hmm. ask, send me notes along the way as you read, then that way we can expedite the lesson. Okay, yeah. So as you okay. read, you say, I don't understand what the word um, perish means. I will answer you as quickly okay. as I can, and I will explain it to you because I want you to have all of your bridges burned. <laughs> I, want the, I want you to stay with me until you, we at least get an understanding of what you were able to accomplish today, how quickly you can summarize something that you read and do it perfect. Okay, okay. I'll send okay. this recording to you, Frank. Have okay. a nice day. Bye bye. You too. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, don't forget to leave the feedback. That's how I get my students. Okay. Okay.